Thank you very much. Congressman Swazi, you are leading this important tax matters. It's very important to our constituents. Taxpayers in California 48th Congressional District, which I am proud to represent, were responsible for 19.8% of all SALT deductions in 2018. The average SALT deduction lost in my district was $28,532. In a place like Orange County, where we already pay some of the highest taxes in the country, this cap takes more money from hardworking families. There were great improvements made in the 2017 tax reform law, like simplifying the tax code and making the corporate tax rate more on par with other nations. But it also chose winners and losers. And unfortunately, those in high cost of living states like New York and California are paying the price. This is a bipartisan issue because we know how much this affects hardworking families in these high-cost states. I do think we can make progress on this, but not at the cost of raising taxes on Americans and American businesses, especially at a time when we are working to rebuild our local economies and get businesses back open. This is a bipartisan issue. We can't muddy the water by adding it to partisan legislation that will pass on party line only. I don't want to see additional tax gimmicks come before Congress. I want the deduction back on the table. I am proud to support two pieces of legislation that would fully repeal the salt cap, one bill by my fellow Californian, Mark Garcia, and the other one by New York Congressman Thomas Swazi. Our constituents should keep more of their hard-earned money. It belongs to them, not the federal government. I am proud to join my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to continue calling for a repeal of the SALT cap. I yield back any remaining time to Congressman Swazi. Congresswoman, thank you so much for being here tonight and for speaking out on this very important issue. We're grateful for your presence here tonight. Thank you very much.